Kia ora. We are at the Eastro Toiti Wastewater Treatment Plant, Trust Land, that was kindly donated by the Trust uh, for the purposes of enabling our reticulation of Eastro Toiti and Rotoma. Since 2014, a steering group uh, led by the community and in full collaboration with Nati Pikiao, uh, Tierra Lakes Trust, the local uh, Manafenua, uh, the local communities, the Rotorua Lakes Council, the Bay of Plenty Regional Council, the Ministry for the Environment and the Ministry of Health have all contributed resources and time and effort in reticulating about 700 properties that are, lo are located around the lakes Rotoma and Rotoiti. The important thing is to take away wastewater that leached through septic tanks into the bodies of uh, lakes Rotoma and Rotoiti and bring it to a safe place like this one where it is highly treated and very close to drinking standards before it is discharged into the environment. Both uh, our Rotorua Lakes Council and our partner agencies and Manafenua will continue to collaborate with the primary aim of ensuring the Intermani to Hawaii, protecting our communities from the uh, adverse health effects of untreated sewage reaching the lakes and also protecting our future development prospects. Kaitiakitanga is basically looking after the land, the kaiao, uh, the environment. Well, a lot of us, grow, we grew up on that land and that's why we're so passionate about it. And I didn't want raw sewage to go on that whenua from our hapu. Um, the decision was to go ahead with the waste sewage treatment plant. Uh, we had a court hearing at our marae with the, uh, with the Rotorua Council as well as uh, the regional council. So as that process went through, I, I realised that we were at the forefront of making sure that our submissions, um, the council would abide by as, as we went forward. The first thing was to put a MOU together, a memorandum of understanding, and said, look, read the cultural impact report read our report from the submitters and work your design around those points in those reports. Yeah, they listened and, and, and they, um, they made adjustments. So it, it, it's about looking after that environment because if you look after the environment, the environment looks after you. Bearing in mind that, that the water that feeds everyone around Rotiti comes from the whenua itself. You know, having kaitiakitanga as far as looking after the whenua, looking after the animals that live on that whenua, the birds, uh, our environment, how it affects the environment. Um, I think everyone, everyone, whether you're Pākehā, Māori, Chinese, you all have um, your duty to protect that. At the end of the day, that helps our environment. Hello, I'm Dan Snow, Project Manager for the Rotoedi On-Site Treatment System contract. Once yourself and the Council agree on a location of your system, we will then come in and uh, commence the installation of your system on an agreed date. So on installation day, we come in with the excavator, we'll install the tank, followed by connection of the drain laying and return the site to something similar to what was there before we commenced. The install duration can take between three to seven working days. This is all dependent on what on-site limitations there are and additional works that are required for each site. After the installation is completed, you'll see the lid level of the treatment system there, along with the alarm panel, which should be mounted to either a post or a fence line. Thank you to all those that have been a part of the installs that we've completed to date. We've had a really awesome response from the community and um, are stoked to be involved with this project. <laughs>